I am Robert C. Dupree from the Kansas City, Missouri area. I am a citizen of Missouri as well as of the East United States. Here's a picture of General Mills from Kansas City, a company that I have worked it for for over 20 years. The company alleged that they had fired me for poor job performance. They fired me back in December 27th of 99. The ugly truth is, is that my termination was the result of racial discrimination, wrongful and retaliant termination and I have been constantly battling and fighting because of the racism that has been going on here at General Mills and my cause of action and even though the case had been settled out of court it has been a settlement of a product of fraud meaning that General Mills had gotten with my attorney who had deceived and manipulated me in signing documents and things and even when I sued him the attorney for legal malpractice the original court in the Wyandotte County had ordered this case for trial but unfortunately that court was removed the attorney, the judge, had been removed off the case after he had ruled in my favor to take action against the attorney who had deceived me in signing documents. And General Mills, of course, is behind all of this. And this is a lot of stuff here that is going on dealing with the racism in my cause of action that General Mills do not want the public to be aware of. And again, I'm Robert C. Dupree. I've been here at the company for over 20 years and I'm still battling to fight to take legal action against them to show that the racism had been going on in my cause of action and to even show that the racism is still going on and the latest was in 2007 just a few months ago even though this is 2008 just a few months ago in 07 General Mills had allowed a racist employee to literally take a rope throw it over a steel beam and uh, tied a noose in it and called a black man to it. Again, as stated before, concerning General Mills here in the uh, Kansas City area, they have allowed, uh, as I was stating earlier, one of the racist employees to literally take a rope, put a noose in it, and throw it over a steel beam and called a black man to it. General Mills had also been boycotted back in 03 because of racism and sexism. But nevertheless, uh, General Mills is refusing to take any action concerning their zero no tolerance policy and such act that had been taking place recently here in 07. And the, the young man's name is Joseph B. Brown who was discriminated against and it also had been uh, made known on local news 5. And I will also show these evidence of such as we get further into our, uh, my complaint and my allegations here against General Mills. And again, I am Robert C. Dupree, and I just want to bring out evidence and stuff that shows that General Mills is refusing to take action against the racist employee. Robert C. Dupree, and I want to uh, bring to the public's attention about a conversation between me and a young man that worked it here, and he gave it consent of this conversation, a taped this conversation back in April of 2007 concerning the racism that he had experienced as well as what others had he was speaking about that they was going through as well and how General Mills was treating blacks versus the white and this is also concerning the hang noose incident so I want the public to hear what he has in concerning his testimonies. Hispanic guy, one of the guys, which is a Hispanic guy, his name's 